Hi everybody, Hi, how are you? How you doing? So, I'll say hi to everybody this afternoon. This is the uh, uh, last time I'll show you the, the classroom and you know, how you can describe the classroom of this afternoon. Uh, I don't know the time you're going to watch a video, but this afternoon this is a uh, classroom action. So you, can, you see last time you saw the all the way that you should describe the, your classroom when you are in a classroom everybody has to understand when you're in a classroom you have to know all different things that has in the classroom so now now this is the time for you to know the action is the classroom okay this is actions classroom actions okay very easy so you have to uh, master them okay so as a uh, let, uh, let's go uh, directly on, on the board and see how you can repeat them, okay? This is, uh, it's not uh, difficult, it's uh, very easy. Like classroom actions. You know classroom is a compound noun, you understand? A compound noun, like a uh, compound noun, you know, it's like, you know, when, if you take class, class is one word and room is another word. That's why you say this is a compound noun, okay? Classroom actions, okay? When you uh, divide classroom in two words, uh, you, sh you should have class and you should have room, okay? Class means something else, something, and room means something else. That's why I say compound. And you, I will explain you. I will not make out the difference for you between compound nouns, okay? And count, that's a, uh, there are count nouns and uh, compound noun. I will explain you that after, okay? Uh, I don't know if in this video, maybe another video, okay? This is a uh, stand up and this is go to the board and uh, write your name, okay? Erase your name, sit down, you see the sit down, all right? Um, let me point out with the, with the felt pen, this is sit down, uh, open your book read page nine study page six close your book put away your book listen to the question raise your hand give the answer um work in groups okay uh, this is a uh, help each other do your homework bring in your homework go over the answer correct your mistakes hand in your homework take out a piece of paper pass out the test answer the questions check your answers correct the test lower the shade turn off the lights turn on the lights take notes and you can also say watch movie, okay? And uh, I'm gonna explain you the old stuff in English and after I'm gonna explain you in French, okay, or whatever, okay? This is stand up, everybody understand stand up. Now I am standing up to teach you, okay? I'm standing up, I don't sit down, I'm standing up. You understand, uh, stand up, you understand, sit down, okay? This is stand up, go to the board, go to the board. Now I'm going, you see the verb to go? I'm going to the board, go to the board. When you go to the board, you go do something in the board, okay? And uh, write your name. Write your name. You got to see. Now I'm write, I'm writing your name. Uh, what's my name? My name is CJP. I'm gonna write my name here. I like CJP. You see, this is my name. Uh, if I say, if the teacher tell you write your name, you gotta go take your pen and you write your name. Okay? Very easy. Write your name. And uh, erase erase your name. Okay? So I write the name. I erase my name with the eraser. If I erase my name, I write my name here. I write my name here. My name is Pat. If I say my name is Patrick, so erase your name. Now I'm erasing 
my name, you understand? That's the way it is. This is an eraser. The noun is eraser. You erase your name, which an eraser. This is an eraser. You understand that? Sit down. I told you already, sit down. You, you see, when you, you are on, um, so I, I told you stand up, I told you sit down. It's not, I'm standing up. They sit down. You sit on a chair. When you sit down, you sit down on a chair. The place where you sit is a seat. You understand that? If I say go to your seat, go to your seat. If I say go to your seat, seat is the place where you sit down. Okay? Go to your seat. Seat is the place where you sit down. Sometimes the you can say sometimes they use it like a chair, but chair is the is the thing that you sit down, okay? Uh, but if I say go to your seat, go to the place where you sit down, okay? The no, chair is something else, okay? Seat is the place. Chair is uh, where you sit down, okay? Place, okay? Go to your seat. Where you going to sit down, that's the place where you're going to sit. You understand that? Open your book, open your book, open your book. This is my book. Now the book is closed. Now I have to open it. I'm opening like this, like this. I'm opening my book. I'm opening my book now. Close your book. This is closed. Open. This is open. Close. This is closed. Open. Open. Close. You understand? That's easy. Okay? Now, for instance, open your book. Read page six. When I'm reading page six, you know, this is the verb to read. When you're reading, you're reading. Okay? You read, well, uh, you read uh, uh, the. You read what you get in the book, you understand? In the book, you see this. I'm reading now. Sister, teacher, dance, book. I'm reading now, you understand? That's, I'm reading a book, okay? Study. Study is like the same thing. When you study, go to school to study. I'm studying English. Now you are studying. You're studying English with me, you understand? So pay attention to understand, okay? This is to study. Study page six. You see one, two, three, four, five, six. This is page. Right? This is the page. You understand? Page. This is page. Page one. This is page one. Page two. Page four. Page five. You understand? Six. Page six. Open page six. You know what I'm saying? I page open. Your, uh, uh, I mean, op, uh, read page nine. Read page nine. Page nine. You understand? Page. I show the page and number nine. Study page six. Study. You understand? Study page. Page number six. Close your book. I told you already. Open. I told you already. This is closed. This is open. Okay. Close. Open. I open. Open the book. I am opening my book now. You see? Close it. I close. That's easy. Put away a book. When I put away my book, you understand? But I got my book in my hand. I, I, I had it. I had my book in my hand. Now they say, put away your book. Put away your book. I put my away my book. That's the way it is, okay? Put away my book. Put it away. I don't have it in my hand, in my bag, in my desk. No, I put it away. You understand? Is it? Listen to the questions. Listen. You listen with your ears. You listen. Now you listen to me, okay? Are you listening? Yes, I'm listening to you. There is to listen to radio, to listen to music, to listen to the teacher, to listen to the questions. If someone asks you a question, you must, um, you have to listen to the person, okay? Easy. Raise your hand. When you raise your hand, you say that. Me, this is me. You raise your hand. This is my hand. Me, okay? Uh, the teacher uh, say, who can answer this question? You say, me. You raise your hand. This is my hand. Give the answers. And you give the answers, okay? You give the answers. Answers. You, you give the answers because you got the answers. You got the right answer. That's why you say, you give the answer. Give me, give me, you know, when you give, when you give the answer, because you, you already, you had the answer. That's why you give the answer. You say, yeah, this is this. Yeah, uh, what, 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 what's the, um, uh, what is an eraser? You say, an eraser is, uh, is something that you can erase the board. Uh, I, I give the answer. You understand? I give the answer. What's this? It's a felt pen. I give the answer. This is the answer. Okay. Mm. What's what's this? It's a pen. It's a pen. This is, I give the answer. All right. Uh, work in groups. When you work in groups, you have two, uh, one, two, three, four people. I mean, four girls or four guys. You know, working together in a group. You know, 
and uh, when you work in groups it's good to work to work in groups so if i don't know the answer he might know the answer Dudiger might know the answer you understand when you work in group you know this is very important to work in groups when you are at school you know when you are um when you, uh, everywhere it's like when you're working too when you're working in groups it's good to work in groups but some people they don't really like to work in groups you know when you work in groups it's good because if if i don't understand the answer the other one might understand the answer if the other one doesn't know the answer another one may have it you understand that's why you know we have to work in group when we work in group we connect together all right that's good help each other when you have almost the same thing with let's help each other you help me i help you you help me i help you i help you and you help me that's why i say help each other if you help me i help you we help we have it each other okay good do your homework you know homework is something that you do in your house when you go home when you go home you do your homework you especially do your homework basically you do your homework uh when you are going to your house when you are at home you do exactly your homework you know the teacher always give you homework to do you understand but uh, sometimes the student the student they don't really like to you know to do their homework okay you gotta do your homework at home i don't know uh it's kind of english homework math homework you know what i'm saying french homework you know languages homework you know, see you gotta do them you always do them at home in your house that's the homework you, you understand that do your homework try to do your homework all the time you know when the teacher give you homework this is very important to do your homework so when you come back to school tomorrow and uh, the teacher will tell you where is your homework if you don't bring your homework so you will you will be in problems with your teacher bring in your homework you see that's what i just told you so when if you didn't bring your homework so the teacher will tell you where is your homework if you don't do that you will be punished anyway you will be punished bring in your homework when you bring it in so uh, give it to me uh, bring it in bring it in okay you're gonna give it to me uh, that's uh, uh, when i say bring in your homework you exactly you're going to give it to me i'll say bring in bring in your bring in your homework okay this is the verb to bring in bring it in if i say bring it in bring it in bring it to me go over the answer when you go over the answer because it's like you um you doing an exam for example for instance uh you're doing a homework you're doing a, a home i mean no you're doing an exam so uh the before before bringing in uh your um your exam to the teacher what you have to do you have to go over the answer first you have to uh um basically you have to know uh, uh perfectly well if all your answers has already been answered perfectly well that's why you know you gotta go over the answers first before before i mean bring bringing in your homework to the teacher that's very easy that's very uh very simple okay very important you gotta go over the answers first before yeah before uh, give it to your teacher you understand so that's why that's the way it is go over the answers when going to go over the answers you, you you see the answers you say wow number one is what one let me see what i have uh, taken number one number two number three you see number five number six number seven number ten you see and uh, you see everything you see all the all the answers you understand you go over it, everything you 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 i mean you um you try to see if all the answers has already been answered correctly you know before giving to your teacher that's what you gotta do first that's why i say always go over the answers correct your mistake you see you gotta correct your mistake first you understand yeah you gotta correct your mistake you understand mistakes okay mistake is something that you know don't try to make mistake all the time you know always correct your mistakes very important to correct your mistake handing your homework when you're handing your homework you put your homework on the desk you understand or you uh you know handing your homework you uh you give your homework you you Hey, handing in, handing in. When you're handing in, you you give your homework. You 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 give your homework to uh to uh, uh to the teacher. 
uh, to the person who give you the homework to do. You know what I'm saying? Okay, that's on the verb to heading, heading your homework. Yeah, hey, you, hell, if I say you heading your homework, you see, you got your homework and you go and give it to, to your teacher. Take out a piece of paper. When you take out a piece of paper, you take a piece of paper to do something. You know what I'm saying? A piece of paper. Let me see, you know, if I got a piece of paper here. Um, yeah, I got a piece of, take out a piece of paper. Yeah, I take out, I, now this is a, a piece of paper. All right, this is a piece of paper. I take out a piece of paper. Yeah, take out, okay? And when I take out a, a piece of paper, I take it just to uh, to do something, you know? Just to do something. I take out a piece of paper, right? Uh, um, you know, maybe, you know, I'm going to write something, write something on it. Or uh, maybe, you know, I'm going to write an exam, you know? Uh, maybe it's, it might be a, a graph paper, too. A graph paper is a paper that I have, you know, to write something, you know, to write something when I'm go when I'm making an exam, you know, I got I need always need a, a graph paper to to write something, you know, to write all my my answers, and after you know to to put all my best answers on on the on the paper. That's why I need always need a graph paper, you know, a graph paper to prepare my my exam and uh, pass out the test. Pass out the test. When I pass out the test, I give you the test. I give you the test. I give her the test. I give him the test. I give him the test. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. I pass out to everybody. This is pass out. Okay. I pass out the test. Okay. I give the test to everybody. Hey, you. Uh, have your test. Have your test. Have your test. This is the way it is. Answer the questions. Answer the questions. You understand to answer when you answer the question. Hey, this is me. Hey, dude. What's, uh, what's this? What's this? It's a pen. It's a felt pen. Yeah, this is good. What's this? It's a cell phone, okay? Uh, when I say it's a cell phone, I answer the questions. You understand? I ask the question and I answer the question, okay? Answer the question. Yeah, when you answer the question, you give the answer. Check your answers. Yeah, when you check your answers, check your answers. You check it out to see if the answer is good, is correct. Is, uh, is correct if the answer is good or not okay if the answer is good correct the test you gotta correct the test you know uh if your student uh give you uh give you all uh, uh, his homework you know what i'm saying so so you, what you gotta do you gotta correct the, uh, his tests you know to see if uh, all, uh, all all his all his answers if uh, he has if he has answers all 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 his answers that's why you need to to correct uh no, to correct your student test you know uh, you understand that lower the shade you understand shade shade is a it's like a place where there's no sun when there's no sun this is the place uh and but in this case when i say lower the shade when you have a projector in in a classroom so i see i uh, lower the shade because you know and the shade will probably you know too much upper you understand too much upper that's why i say lower lower the shade i need the i need the the, the shade a little bit lower I don't need the upper. You understand? The opposite of lower. Uh, I mean, if uh, the opposite of low is up, you understand? When you say low, lower, you can use upper for the opposite. And I say upper, upper, the upper, the shade. I need the shade. You know, I need, uh, I need uh, the shade. Uh, uh, getting a, uh, I need a, uh, uh, I need uh, the. It's like a, a projector. The projector is is uh, lighting. I need it. I need, I need a lot of light. A lot of light in the in the house that's why i say um upper the shed upper the, the projector you understand upper the shed okay so and uh, uh the, the the opposite is um upper and uh, uh you say contrary or uh, opposite lower the shed you understand lower the shed turn off the light you understand turn off the light but you know there is turn off the light and there is turn on the light well there's a big difference between Turn on the light and turn on the light. Okay, when you turn on the light, there is electricity. You see, and you gonna see everything in the house. But when you turn on, when you turn off, no, you see nothing. You see nothing. You understand? You see nothing when you turn off the light. But when you turn on the light, you see yo, uh, you see everything in the house because there is light. Right? You understand when there is electricity. But if there is a, uh, if you turn on, if you turn off, you can't see anything in the house. Of course you turn off the lights okay but uh, uh when you turn off if you need the light uh, anybody will tell you i need light so turn on the light but you know sometimes people say open the light 
close the light no it's not open the light you can open the math close your math you understand open your book close the book never say that in english open the light turn on open the light close the light okay this is not good the best thing you have to do when you use the light you see the light so this is turn off and turn on okay turn off turn on don't say open don't say close take notes take notes if i'm if i say book if i write you see this is all notes these are notes you have to take your pen and write them down on a sheet of paper or on your notebook okay take your notebook and take notes when you take notes you take everything you see on the board okay that's why you say that's that's why so if you go to school so the teacher has written uh, a lot of notes on the board you have to take notes when you take notes you take your pen and write notes okay you take your pen and write notes very good take notes you have to take notes you cannot only watch without taking notes so you have to take notes okay always taking notes when you are in a classroom you understand because you will forget what you've already learned okay if you don't take notes you will never you will never keep everything in your mind okay so that's why you have to work, always work with your notebook okay always keep your notebook you know what i'm saying i mean in your bag always work with a notebook when you go to school and go somewhere to learn something when you are here you are listening to me uh, to the to my channel so what you have to do you gotta take your notebooks and take notes you gotta take notes when you are oh now you're watching me now are you watching me yes i know you're watching so what you gotta do you gotta take notes okay take notes take notes take notes take notes you write or paint takes not lowest the shape take notes okay write everything so you will need them in the future all right so and i just explained everything in english for everybody all over the world and now this is time for me to explain them in french or creole okay for the haitian people or the french people you understand so this is the time for me before ending up that's the, this is the way i do that first i explain in english everything and second i explain it in creole if they want i explain in creole very quick okay i think you understand everything this is action don't forget action okay this is classroom actions okay this is classroom actions this is action you see you understand action actions okay action when you make movement okay this is actions like stand up you know okay so now let me explain in, let me explain them in the french stand up okay debout go to the board allez au tableau write your name écrit votre nom erase your name essuie votre nom sit down asseyez-vous open your book ouvrez votre livre go to your seat allez à votre place read your page 9 lisez votre page lisez à la page 9 study page 6 étudiez à la page Six. Put away a book. Déposez-vous. Mettez-vous là. Listen to the question. Écoutez aux questions. Raise your hand. Levez la main. Votre main. Give the answers. Donnez la réponse. Work in groups. Travailler en groupe. Help each other. Et dans les uns les autres, en aider les uns Do your homework. Fair what we do for the maison bring in your homework remit devoir devoir de maison go over the answers passer en revue en revue la réponse vérifier réponse yo avant bail correct your mistakes corriger votre mistake votre error okay mistakes hand in your homework Remettre votre devoir de maison. Homework. 
take out a piece of paper, put it in a of paper, pass out the test, pass the test, the exam, pass the test, answer the questions, respond the questions, check your answers, verify the answers, correct the test, correct the test, lower the shades, baisse the l'ombrage, turn off the lights, éteindre éteindre la lumière turn on the light allume la lumière take notes prenez les notes all right thank you very much you know this is uh, the class of machin so you know i explain everything in english now this is in french creole so and uh, what i have you do never forget that please you know subscribe sub subscribe you know like share okay and also give me a comment I like comment, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, give me a comment. You know, tell me what you what you see in the video. If it's not good or bad, you know, tell me everything you see in the video. If you see the video is good or bad, you understand? Explain me, you know. And I will, I will, uh, I will learn. I will. I, 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 I'd like to learn from you. Okay, I'd like to learn from you. I'm a good guy, so I'm working for you guys. So please help me out, you know. And we uh, subscribe and like share and comment you understand but you know for the time being they talking about the coronavirus the coronavirus is uh is uh uh it's not uh it's not fake it's real you know it's real so you gotta protect yourself so what you gotta do and you gotta wash your hands every every 30 minutes you know uh, so you, know, you gotta take a mask you know in your nose okay so uh don't talk to a lot of people on the street you gotta sick you gotta stay away from people you know from people you know gotta stay away like six uh, you know six miles away you know what i mean you understand that so that's my advice for you about uh, coronavirus so it's uh very it's a uh, dangerous it's very dangerous you know and a lot of people in new york city die you know for the time being so try and me i'm in florida so uh what i gotta tell you please Please don't go out, you know, when you don't need to go. So, uh, it's very dangerous. So, and, uh, when I, or I could tell you, my advice for you, don't go out, you know, don't don't stay in groups, uh, you know. So, stay away from people. And, uh, and you, I mean, you see that, you, say you have to, uh, you have to, the best thing you gotta do, you gotta wash your hands every 30 minutes before uh, before uh, taking something to eat you see that but it's very dangerous this is a I'm telling you this sickness is very dangerous coronavirus is not it's not a game all right people think it's like no it's not a game okay I'm telling you guys it's not a game love you guys so you gotta go gotta do what you gotta do okay you gotta do what you gotta do because it's very very important to you know to wash your hands guys okay? wash your hands okay you know everything you gotta do be careful be careful be careful because your life is your life you understand I care about your life I need you and you need me because you know you come to live okay so I don't want to lose you because I love you a lot so please you know don't go out when you don't want to go so that's all the thing i can tell you this is the video this is the afternoon it's the video is doing in the afternoon this is the afternoon right now thank you very much you know for watching my video thank you very much take care of yourself be careful of coronavirus you know it's a dangerous a dangerous sickness thank you i'm not a doctor i can't tell you a lot of things about it but the best thing i can tell you is like you know wash your hands every 30 minutes that's the best thing i could tell you Okay, my name is CGP Kadichan Dabati. Represent all the time and how all the time. I'm a good guy. I love you. I love you all. Thank you. Peace. Love you. Peace out.